In this video, we're going to see how to read values from multiple input fields, uh, especially when you use lightning web component to build a form with a lot of input fields uh, where users can enter input. Uh, so we follow a traditional way to read values and then and then you know store those values back in the database, isn't it? So uh, we're gonna see how we can use one single on change handler and then accomplish this. So traditionally, this is what we do. So imagine that this is the form that you have built using Lightning Web Component uh, that ca that uh, takes user inputs, name, first name, last name, age, and you know an option to choose the language that user can speak and read. Yeah. So this is the form. This is you know the Lightning input field that we are using in the LWC component and to read each and every value as the user enters the data, right? So we end up creating multiple or multiple um, multiple handlers or multiple functions <clears throat> in your JavaScript code. For example, for this one, right? So we have a on change event handle first. This calls this handle first name change uh, method, and this calls handle last change you know method and this calls you know another method in the javascript controller file so the problem with this is this is okay as long as if you have only handful of uh, lightning input fields isn't it manageable number of lightning input fields what if i want to build a form that has more than let's say you know 20 fields or or around you know, 25 fields in such cases it will be difficult you know or you might end up creating a lot of uh, functions correct to read the values so there is much better way you know to accomplish this instead of creating multiple you know uh, multiple functions and also you have to create multiple properties right to hold the value correct so that is much better way this is what we're gonna see it in the in the video today so I'll go to the code right away and this is what you know you have just seen yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a single handler I'm gonna rename this as handle handle um, also simply say <clears throat> handle let's name it as um, handle form input change yeah so let's use the same on change event handler for all the input fields yeah um, for checkbox alone I'm gonna make a small change that is the reason why I'm doing it I'll explain that uh, form input change form input checkbox I'll just say yeah, I have a different handler for all the other fields, right? Of type, number, email, whatever it is, right? So I can just simply use this. I have a button on click of it. I just wanted to read the values, you know, whatever the user ends enter. Yeah, or I'll just say um, prep, uh, read and prep data. Yeah. So let's say this is the function. Yeah. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just split this JavaScript to the right and I'm going to remove the code, you know, the entire code. This is the code, right? I don't need properties. I don't need all these ones, all these, you know, functions. So simply that I'm going to expose this event expose this function yeah so handle form input change here what I can do is I can just simply say this dot or this off even dot target target dot name equal to one single line of code even dot detail dot value so what it will essentially do is we know that event dot detail value will give me the value that is entered by the user, you know, in the in the input field. And what I'm saying is dynamically creating a property, you know, in this class. Okay, so this will create a property. Okay, property with the same name as input field. For example, in this case, I do have. Um, Yeah, in this case, I have a name for this input field, first name, and this one, you know, last name, right? So basically, this will create a property with the name, first name, last name for this one, age, and then, you know, it just stores the value. That's all it is, just one single line of code, okay? And uh, I'm going to 
uh, I've just introduced a different function right to handle checkbox right there is a reason to it because I cannot just uh, get the value of a checkbox uh, using even dot detail dot value instead I have to use if the code is just the same this of uh, event dot uh, target dot name equal to event dot detail dot checked so this will tell me whether the checkbox is checked or not yeah so <clears throat> i'm gonna I'm going to call this method okay on click of that uh, click of the button so what I'll do is I'll just pro I'll just say I'm creating a user of user record yeah user record is equal to okay I'm gonna form a record a user record with the values you know and as by the values entered by the user okay so I'm gonna say um, <clears throat> first name or I'll just say uh, F name colon okay now this is how I can able to access the value that is that is you know that is read and uh, you know stored in a property so all I have to do is okay I just have to mention the name of the input field. that's all it is as I said right it will automatically create this line will automatically create a property with the same name as the input field right so now to read the first name entered by the user I'm just going to use this of you know first name comma so I'll just say uh, last name um, equal last name colon this of last name so it's case sensitive just be careful okay and uh, age isn't it so age colon I'm gonna say this of um, age yeah and the last one is um, is um, Spanish right the Spanish colon this of even double quotes I just have to take the name of the input field that's it so now I just I'm just trying to know I just uh, added a code that will create an object a user object with the values entered by the user so now what I can do is I can just simply assign this to a record uh, maybe I'll do this one I have a property let me have a property okay so user record okay I'll just assign this to this property equal to and um, I'll just um, convert that object into a string okay so then what we can do is um, let's try this so back in the HTML so let's have a paragraph tag let's have this user record okay I'll simply print whatever the user has entered <clears throat> okay so cool this is what we wanted to uh, we wanted to achieve again right so one simple line of code will will do the trick for you so let's right click let's deploy this let's wait for the deployment to complete then we can test this one all right now the deployment has just been completed I'm gonna go to the org and uh, let me first refresh this page all right so this is what and i'm just currently looking at right a form with a fee with a with a button called read values isn't it so i'm just going to enter data so john doe and age let's say uh, 25 and uh, i'll just select the checkbox right when i click on read values i just wanted to you know see this entire data in a in a in a in a, in a record right as a record basically yeah so let's try this you know you can just see this right yeah i was able to <clears throat> With a single line of code i was able to store whatever the value that user has entered on the screen number one number two i was able to read those values and then i just formed you know a record and this is what you know, you're just seeing it on the screen isn't it this is quite simple isn't it right so instead of instead of writing uh, a lengthy code yeah you can able to you can able to just achieve the same just by using one single line of code so this is the trick that you can use it especially when you build a form with a lot of fields you know for the users to enter data into yeah i hope uh, this i hope uh, this video uh, you found this uh, video helpful so i'll just come back with another video thank you